Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you a really simple and sweet design to spread some words of encouragement and positivity in the community. I'm starting out with a chalk pencil by creating a square on the rock and then I'm going to take a curved line on that bottom corner and then take a damp paper towel and erase the sharp corner. Trust me, there's a reason for this. You'll see in a little bit. This is one of the reasons I really like the chalk pencils because you can just take that damp paper towel and erase what you don't need or don't want on the stone, either before or after painting. Because these rocks are really, really smooth stones, I'm gonna use the white gesso to base coat the little squares. Not only does this help make sure the paint is nice and vibrant and nice and solid, it also gives the paint something to adhere to. If you've ever put paint on one of these really smooth stones, it slides around and you have to do some extra coats. So the gesso really helps with that. Since this design is made up of little pieces of paper with notes written on them, I had in my head kind of like pastel post-its. So that's the color scheme that I'm going for with the colors. So I'm gonna start out with the yellow. I usually fill in the color. I like this angled brush because it really helps with getting nice straight edges. So the gesso is on there a little bit rounded in places and so this is helping to really straighten out those edges for me. Since the month of May is Mental Health Awareness Month, I really wanted to do a design that kind of had some focus in that area. I feel like the pandemic has helped bring the importance of mental health a little bit more to the forefront because more people have experienced challenges over the last year plus, but I still think we have a long way to go in normalizing mental health as a normal part of our health, just like going to get a checkup or going to the doctor when you have a sore throat. Even though it may not be an overt goal of the Kindness Rocks movement, I think mental health is just entwined in what it's all about, at least for me. I think the idea of trying to put something out there to brighten the day of a stranger, make them smile, maybe catch them in a really tough time and allow them to just pause, maybe be able to step back and not be caught in a negative spiral. So I'm not a mental health professional, but I'm a kindness professional and I just wanna make people smile. I'm gonna take this Sakura Pigma fine line paint pen and outline the entire design on each stone to give it a little bit of definition and then the magic's gonna happen in that curved corner. I'm gonna draw two curved lines, kind of like a shark fin, I guess, is what I was thinking of it. And once it's on there, it gives the illusion that the paper is curling in the wind or because it's worn. It's just a cute little accent to our little pieces of paper. So sorry, the camera angle got a little off here, but I wanted to be nice and up close to show you that I'm drawing two little pieces of tape on each piece of paper. So it's literally two parallel lines with some little kind of jagged edges, and it looks like pieces of tape. take some dragonfly glaze full spectrum to add some highlight to that tape to give it the illusion that it's like clear tape so any kind of clear glitter would work I like the dragonfly glaze because it dries really smooth it's not chunky and it's really fine glitter so it's a nice um, little accent that creates this illusion of the clear tape I've done this design before for International Drop a Rock Day, which is every year in July, and they pick a certain phrase or a word to go on rocks, and you drop them all on July 3rd, and this was a really cute design. I think the You Matter was one of them, Harmony was one of them one year, so it's a really cute design for short phrases and words. Now I wanted this design to look like someone had literally just written on the pieces of paper. So I chose a blue Thule Art acrylic paint pen and I'm just gonna write in my normal handwriting some very short phrases that would be kind of pick-me-up phrases if you were having a rough day or you just needed a little word of encouragement. 
These are pretty tiny stones, as you can see by the size of my thumb and forefinger. You could do this on larger rocks, and the larger your rock, the more you could write on the piece of paper, whatever you chose to do. But it's a really simple design, really impactful, and it's super cute. You can come back and touch up your clear tape if you overshot a little bit with the glitter paint. These little nuggets are a great way to spread positivity in the community. If you want to check out other cute designs, click on one of the videos on the screen right now. Thanks for stopping by to watch, and I will see you next time.